to welcome tourists. Julia Ferrugia Portelli is the Minister for Tourism in Malta, and Malta has reopened its airport to visitors. Lovely of you to join us. Thanks very much. Um, tell me, how do you feel? Um, well, let's first start first of all, I suppose. What news do you know when it comes to air bridges and the UK? What have you been told? What have you been? What's been hinted at? So we've been basically very much engaged with the um, British government. We look so much forward to see Malta's name on that list later today, um, later tomorrow morning. OK, so you're, an expe okay. you're expecting an announcement within 24 hours and expecting Malta to be on the list. How do you think um, people of Malta will feel knowing that the UK's infection rate when it comes to coronavirus is far higher, significantly higher, than that of Malta's? Um, we are very prepared as a country. Um, the British market is um, the strongest market that we have had uh, since um, our early tourism days in the 1950s. And I must say that there are strong ties between the, the two countries. Uh, Malta is very much prepared. We are um, uh, by far the safest Mediterranean country. Um, we had only nine people who died in the past uh, five months. And most of these cases were elderly people who already experienced um, uh, health complications. But we are prepared as a country yeah. to welcome um, British tourists in the coming weeks. How can, how can you be prepared when Britain or the UK has the worst um, level of infection rate in Europe? We are pretty much geared up, even uh, through our um, international network, even the mechanism that we have um, in our airport. Um, uh, we have the right mechanism at the airport to test each and every passenger through um, uh, the temperature. Um, gauging mechanisms, but then of course we understand that also as a country we have um, um, a strong base when it comes to our healthcare system. Um, uh, even Commonwealth General Secretary Patricia Scotland has applauded Malta and they described the way that we handled the pandemic as the best country in the world um, for handling this situation. Um, we, as a country, we're taking all the precautions. The precautions are in place, airport, hotels, also the many attractions that we have in Malta are all geared up. Um, we have um, safety protocols in place. All the hotels, the restaurants, etc., are um, COVID tested. So that means that each and every traveler has peace of mind that each and every side of the corner of our country is practically safe. Uh, Julia, uh, can I just check on some of the... You talked about some of the measures you're going to bring in. So when British tourists, if they're allowed to travel, when they arrive in Malta, you say they have uh, a temperature check as they come in. So they go to a hotel, and as you will know, the temperature check is not definitive, it's a moment in time. So it is possible that someone could arrive in Malta, pass the temperature check, check into their hotel, and then fall ill in the hotel and be tested positive. What would happen in that hotel to all the other guests and the staff if that were to happen? If that were to happen, and uh, it's hypothetic, but we have the right protocols, the right mechanisms in place. So basically, we have um, a protocol which states that each and every hotel uh, which experienced this kind of, um, of uh, situation, they will isolate them, uh, that tourist um, until the medical team comes into place. And then we have a fully fledged uh, health system wherein all the patients, all the tourists will be um, cared for in a, an appropriate manner. How long so would that period be for? Pardon me? How long would that period be for? Um, basically, we're saying that each and every hotel um, has um, uh, a direct um, uh, line, a direct link through our health 
um, authorities and basically um, uh, that mechanism will go um, uh, straight in action and uh, the team will uh, start taking over and isolate that particular tourist. But of course, um, we are prepared. Um, we have good ties with the British government and uh, the statistics are also showing us that we had a spike in uh, the past uh, two weeks. And uh, I got a brief yesterday. It shows that the travel agents in, uh, in, in the UK are telling us that practically we have already reached the same levels of bookings with the British um, uh, tourists as we had last year. So really and truly, um, we are all excited to uh, welcoming um, the British tourists in, in our country. Well, Julia Portelli, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us this morning. I'm, I'm sure, you know, there are a lot of British tourists do go to Malta in normal circumstances. As and when that happens, they will be very happy. Nice speaking to you this morning. Uh, Julia Portelli.